Hi folks, I'm Hector Garcia, CPA and QuickBooks Consultant. In this video, we're gonna talk about what happens to the older versions of QuickBooks Desktop. I am on QuickBooks Desktop 2019 right here in my Windows PC. And you will notice that right here on the bottom left of the screen, there's a big warning sign that says, warning, service will end May 31st, 2022. What does that mean? Well, basically all versions of QuickBooks Desktop 2019 or older are already past the support period. QuickBooks supports their product for three years after the label year version. So QuickBooks 2019 will stop support May 31st of 2022. And what exactly does it mean that it will stop working? Because the software is still gonna be installed in your computer. You can still open it, you can still access the company file, but there are a particular set of things that will stop working. Well, number one, payroll will stop working. So if you're using QuickBooks Desktop Payroll, which is an additional fee, most of you that are using QuickBooks Payroll inside QuickBooks Desktop are paying $500 to $600 a year for that service anyway. So even if you continue to pay for that service, it will no longer work. QuickBooks Desktop 2019 will no longer work with payroll. You can look at old paychecks, but you're not gonna be able to create new paychecks, uh, file forms, pay taxes, that sort of thing. The second thing that will stop working is going to be uh, electronic payment. So if you're used to invoicing your customers from QuickBooks and your customers get an email with a pay now button where they can pay all within the QuickBooks ecosystem and they can pay you with a credit card, that will stop working as well if you're working or still working with QuickBooks desktop 2019 or older past May 31st, 2022. The third thing that will stop working is bank feeds or online banking. So if you're used to downloading transactions from your bank and using the bank feeds window to bring those transactions in, categorize them and put them in your books, that will stop working as well. This is whether you're doing the direct connection where you're logging into the bank and they're being downloaded, or if you're down downloading them manually from the website and uploading the .qbo web connect file. In either case, the bank feeds window will stop working. Now, there's an official website or web page inside the QuickBooks uh, website that explains exactly what is the discontinuation policy. And I will put a link on the description so you can look at this, read through it, so you know exactly directly from the source exactly what's going on. So after May 31st, access to what they're calling add-on services will be discontinued to all 2019 versions of QuickBooks. This is Pro, Premier, Enterprise, Mac, and Pointer Sale. Now we'll talk about the solutions or what can you do um, moving forward in a second, but let's talk about the other things that will stop functioning. So I'm gonna go down here to where it says um, what services are affected in 2019. And we have payroll, which we just mentioned. So assisted payroll or enhanced payroll, that will stop working. If you're using the workers' comp payment service, which is all tied to payroll, that will stop working. Uh, payment processes, processing, these are the electronic invoices that we mentioned, that will stop working. Uh, recurring payments, so if you also have recurring payments through the credit card merchant service, that will stop working. There's a couple extra things. I did mention the online banking um, recently. Uh, even if, again, even if it's just manual transactions that you're uploading. Uh, QuickBooks Time will stop working. So if you're syncing QuickBooks desktop with uh, QuickBooks Time, formerly known as T-Sheets, that will stop working. And a lot of third-party apps that talk to QuickBooks, if you're syncing data with any other third-party apps, that might stop working as well. There's a couple other things here, like um, an update to um, multiple currency into a Data Protect, which is a backup service that QuickBooks used to offer, not so much now, contributor reports, so if you want to download reports from other users that they contribute to uh, sort of the user base, and the accountant's copy if you're using uh, or you're working with someone that uses accountant's copy. So that's, in a nutshell, what happens or what will happen to your QuickBooks desktop 2019. What are your options? So if you call QuickBooks, if you go to the QuickBooks website, it will be pretty obvious that what they're pushing is the online version. So could you upgrade? or downgrade or upload, whatever you wanna call it, from QuickBooks Desktop 19 to QuickBooks Online? Yes, you can. And as a matter of fact, if you are gonna go that route, and I'll put some links 
in the description of how QuickBooks Online works and how to go from desktop to online so you can see exactly what the process looks like. I will put my email somewhere in the bottom of the video uh, because uh, you actually get a 50% discount off the QuickBooks Online account for a whole year when you upgrade from desktop, but you have to email me so I can have my contact override the pricing for you. So I'll put a link in the description so you can set up your QuickBooks Online account and all the videos that explain how to go from desktop to online. If you want to go that route, you don't have one, you don't have to go that route if you don't want to. Many people love their QuickBooks desktop, want to stay within QuickBooks desktop and don't want to go to QuickBooks Online and they get frustrated that the website and their phone support all pushes you in that direction. You can still buy QuickBooks desktop. So when you go into the QuickBooks website, you can scroll all the way down. You kind of have to know this all the way down. And there should be an option that says QuickBooks desktop back, Premier, uh, Pro, Enterprise. If you click straight into those, I'm going to go to QuickBooks desktop Pro Plus. If you click straight into that, you will now have the option to purchase uh, QuickBooks desktop Pro from the website directly. Now, a couple of caveats, starting 2022, QuickBooks Desktop is a subscription product. It's still a desktop product that installs in your computer. It will take your old company file from 19, push it to 22. It's gonna work smoothly. It'll work pretty much exactly the same. There are some upgraded features, but your the look and feel and the UI and what you're used to, is gonna be a pretty much smooth sailing from there. But it's now an annual subscription. So if you're used to paying, you know, $200 or $250 or $300 or whatever for every three years doesn't exist anymore. Now you have to pay annual for a QuickBooks desktop. So even though it's still a desktop product and it's still physically installed in your computer, not, not an online product, you still have to pay annually for it to work and it will literally stop working after the year that you bought it. So QuickBooks Desktop Pro, as of the date of this video, is $349 per year. There's different pricing if you go with two users or up to three users, uh, QuickBooks Desktop Pro can do up to three users. If you're gonna buy it, you can also email me. There's a special first year discount that makes that price much, much lower if you happen to be going to buy QuickBooks Desktop Pro. Again, just email me. Someone from my office will give you that quote fairly quickly. Now I'm gonna scroll down and take a look at QuickBooks uh, Desktop Premier Plus. And I'm also gonna give you a resource. I'm gonna put it in the description that compares all the versions, a real fair, comparison from a consultant. So you can really uh, uh, decide what version works best for you. But I'm just looking at pricing for now to give you some context. So QuickBooks Premier will cost $549 per year for a one user and $1749 per year for a five user. Five user is the maximum. In Premier, again, if you buy it, email me. There's a special first year discount. You also have the option to go to QuickBooks Enterprises, different versions of QuickBooks Enterprise, there's gold, silver, platinum, diamond, there's different versions depending on the features that you want. And that will vary you know, anywhere between $1,300 per year all the way to like $10,000 per year. Actually, it could be even more if you host it on a, a cloud-based service because enterprise can be hosted in a sort of a bundled desktop software and hosting service. Again, if that's something you're interested in, email, email me, someone from my office should uh, email you uh, fairly quickly. So you can also go with enterprise. Again, it's gonna be a much more expensive thing that you're used to, but it could have more features. Now, again, as I mentioned, I'm gonna put a link in the description to what I call my master spreadsheet. I've been working on this spreadsheet for about five years. And if you actually go in the spreadsheet, you will click on the link. It's a Google Sheets. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that there's over 230 features being compared. Like I literally created um, the chart I took every single feature across all versions, all four versions of QuickBooks Online, all four versions of QuickBooks Desktop, Pro Premier, Accountant, and Enterprise, and compare them so you can go line by line, feature by feature, and know which one has one thing, which one doesn't have another thing. That gives you a good starting point. So if you are at this crossroads where your QuickBooks is about to expire or support's about to expire, you wanna move to Pro Premier 2022, maybe enterprise or considering going with QuickBooks Online, you have a really good resource here to kind of get an idea for uh, the different features that are in it. A lot of people are moving to QuickBooks Online, a lot, and QuickBooks 
uh, Intuit, the company, is encouraging people to do so because they're just developing that app more and they're putting pumping a lot more money in, in their support, in their app, in their entire ecosystem. And they're going to want you to go to QuickBooks Online. And for many people, it would be the right choice. And for many people, not yet for many people, it's better to stay in desktop. There's a lot of things that QuickBooks Desktop has that online doesn't. You can look at the spreadsheet and see for yourself. In any case, if you can upgrade to 2022, stay in Pro Premier, move to Enterprise, or go to online, contact me. Again, my email will be somewhere in the bottom. I guarantee you that we'll help you get set up with the right version that works best for you. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. I hope that clarified, um, you know, sort of that anxiety around what is happening to your QuickBooks desktop 2019. And again, go to the description. I'll put all the links to all the things that I referenced here today. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.